Weather is just perfect. Ordinarily, a place of this sort would be mosquito hell, which it sort of was the last time I was here. But now the, the populations have been decimated by a few cold nights. Mosquito issues are considerably attenuated. We're skirting the edge of the Minebrook wetland at this point. One side is the wetland, and the other side is the gravel pit between Scylla and Charybdis. suitable trail turf down there. Although I may be mistaken. There's lots of parallel stuff in here. And the blazing is in very good shape. Unlike other places I've visited recently. Part of the entertainment value of trying to figure out the Bay Circuit is learning to be nimble when confronted by places that are really ineptly covered after you've been lulled into a false sense of security by visiting a number of places that are impeccably well covered. It's that back and forth that kind of keeps you on your toes. skirting residential areas once we've got the gravel pit behind us. And then the whole thing will take a turn sort of east-southeasterly. wetlands and a scurrying chipmunk. We came
came from that way, which is the northerly direction of base circuitry. We're heading this way, the southerly direction of base circuitry. Oh, it looks like a deer track or two. I remember the last time I was here. Yeah, those are fresh deer tracks. Maybe even moose. There's deer everywhere. No, it looks like someone came through on a bike. Cool. This is a, this is a mountain biker hog heaven zone. It's fairly challenging terrain, but it's mostly fairly hard to pummel and is hardly used. We're also in the headwaters of the Naponza River. The Naponza watershed is kind of born in a fanning array of streams up in this neck of the Commonwealth woods. More deer tracks. <laughs> the deer are avid users of the Bay Circuit Trail. <coughs> They've recently come under considerable dismay due to their relationship to the deer tick problem and the fact that no one hunts them anymore and they're everywhere. Munching your garden stuff. Giant woods mice. But hey, they were here first. What are we gonna do? There's a small cottage industry of professional yeoman huntsmen who are hired by various towns to come in and call out the deer population, but it's not clear what they do with all the venison and such. And who could reasonably ask for a more gorgeous fall day, I tell ya. <laughs> it's really nice. of it. Oh, it looks like we might get a bit of a glimpse. That old mine brook. Sugar maple, water tolerant swamp maple is just lighting up out there. <laughs> and 
just is going nuts. So I see what I'll be doing. I'm getting various foliage report data points coming in from friends and online. Tomorrow, I think, I'll be taking a look at Andover. And Friday, it's Sudbury Reservoir. Lots of color. Wind woven, breeze tossed color. Should be hitting the little vantage point with the lawn furniture stuff before too long. There's some <coughs> erosion barrier stuff for the gravel pit. <laughs> 